I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to preach the good news of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friend, I encourage you as I share a message with you and I pray for you today. Be in agreement, connect in faith, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Hello and welcome to this special video brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry, the ministry that aims to take you to the house of the living God. It is so good to be with you today, my dear friend. It is indeed another day that God has given us and by His grace, we will keep on going. This is the day that the Lord has given us. This is the day that the Lord has given you. Rejoice and use it to the fullest. My dear friend, today I want to speak to you and the title of my message is Two Things That Go Together Like Fire and Petrol. Now, many people who've played with petrol and fire, I'm sure you know, the two, when combined, cause the fire to grow brighter. There are two things, spiritual things, that go together like petrol and fire and that is prayer and reading of the Word of God. My dear friend, prayer without the Word of God is not as powerful as prayer that is combined with the Word of God. Reading of the Word of God on a daily basis is so important for us born-again believers, and it is our lifeline. I'm going to show you from the Bible. It is so important that we read the Word of God. The Word of God will empower you for victory, even in this season. Now, the Bible says in the Gospel of John chapter 6, verse 63, it says, It is the Spirit who gives life. The flesh is no help at all. The words I have spoken to you are spirit and life. I'll read that one more time. It says, It is the Spirit who gives life. The flesh is no help at all. The words I have spoken to you are spirit and life. Now, the Bible goes on and it says in the book of Ephesians chapter 6, verse 17, it says, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. My dear friend, the Word of God gives life. And furthermore, the Word of God empowers you for victory. The Word of God is your weapon that God has given you in your hands, that you can use to receive and retrieve your victory. The Word of God is a divine weapon. It is a spiritual sword. And if you follow what is written in the Word of God, you are guaranteed to come back with the testimony. I'll read that one more time. It says, And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. So it's not just any sword. It is the sword of the Spirit. If you want to operate in the Holy Spirit, if you want to operate as a born-again believer in power and anointing of God, you need the Word of God in you. Furthermore, the Bible goes on and it says in the book of Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12, it says the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and spirit, of joints and marrow, and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. I'll read that to you one more time. It says, for the word of God is living and active. So the Bible is not like any other book. The Bible is no ordinary book. The Bible is a spiritual book. In fact, the Bible goes on and describes the words written in the Bible as spirit and life. It is active. It is not dead. It is active. This is why every time you read your Bible, it's almost as if there's a new revelation. You can read the same passage of scripture so many times, but every time you read it, you will see something new. There will always be something there to bless you, something there to help you so that you can make it through. It goes on and it says, sharper than any two-edged sword. So the Word of God is a spiritual sword in our hands as born-again believers. And it's sharper than any two-edged sword, physically and spiritually, piercing to the division of soul and spirit. So it shows you what is of the soul and what is of the spirit. It goes on and it says, of joints and marrow, and of discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. There's a big revelation over here discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. Notice it talks about the soul and spirit and it ends off by talking about discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. So it's so important we understand and know the Word of God will help us to tune in and hear the voice of God clearly. You will be able to tune in and understand which voice is the Holy Spirit speaking to you and which voice isn't. You'll be able to understand which voice is of the flesh which voices of the Spirit. It will divide and produce a clear distinction between soul and spirit. 
My dear friend, I encourage you, along with your prayers on a daily basis, get the Word of God in. If you are struggling to read your Bible, get the audio Bible. If you are struggling to read when you sit down at home when you're alone, then read it on the go while you're in your car. Something is better than nothing. Even a little that you get in on the go is better than nothing. Watch many more of these videos. Get the Word of God in and it will empower you to pray. It will empower you to rise up. It will empower you so that you can walk in your victory even in this season that you're watching this. So in saying that, my dear friend, let's go into a time of prayer. Take your cell phone, your device, wherever you're watching me from. Just go somewhere private where you can pray, where you can seek God. And even as you go there, begin to lift up praises to God. Begin to praise God in your own words. Father, we just praise you. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your love that never runs out. And even today, that love is present. Touch, heal, change, deliver, and set free, my dear friend, who's watching this video. And take, my dear friend, to a greater glory and a greater altitude, even in Christ. Do this for the glory of King Jesus. I pray this in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, for your grace. I thank you for your mercy. I thank you, Lord, that you've given us another day to live to the fullest, another day to press on, another day to walk in glory, the glory and anointing that is available in Christ to all who believe. We give you praise and thank you for your grace that is released to my dear friend even today that my dear friend will be met at my dear friend's point of need. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. My dear friend, I discern God's presence and I know like I know as we pray, God is going to bless you. So in saying that, we're going to begin to pray. As we begin, I want to encourage you to do three things. The first and the most important is just welcome the Holy Spirit. Say this out loud. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come, Lord Holy Spirit, and touch me. Help me to pray and help me to press in. Do this for the glory of King Jesus. I pray this in Jesus' name. Help me to get as much of the Word of God in me and help me to get closer to you. Help me to walk in victory, Lord Holy Spirit. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, the second thing that I want to encourage you to do is comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement and even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. The third thing, if you've got a prayer request and you want me to pray with you and for you, simply go to my website, go to www.gabrielfernandezministries.org and click on daily prayer list. Fill in your prayer request, click submit, it's going to come through to me and I'm going to trust God with you. But in saying that, let us begin to pray. Father, I pray for my dear friend. I pray that you will not only release the grace to pray, but the grace also to read the word of God over my dear friend. As my dear friend prays and reads your word, let it be like petrol mixing with fire. Let the spiritual fire burn brighter in my dear friend's life. Even in this time period, let my dear friend's light shine bright and use my dear friend for your glory. Touch, heal, change, deliver and give my dear friend the victory that is needed. We pray this and we thank you, Lord, for it in the name of Jesus Christ. If my dear friend is trusting you for a miracle, let a miracle take place even today. If my dear friend is trusting you for a touch from you, a touch that only you can give that will change my dear friend's life, a spiritual touch. Do it today, Lord, and do miracles, signs, and wonders, all for the glory of King Jesus. I pray this in Jesus' name, and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen and amen. My dear friend, I bless you with a blessing that you will go up and you will succeed, even in this time period. I bless you so that you will succeed and make it in Jesus' mighty name. May you go up and not come down. And may you see the goodness of God in the land of the living. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Until tomorrow, my dear friend, God bless you and goodbye. In saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video. If you are blessed by this video and you feel led to donate or to partner with us to support us in this work that we are doing, then you can do so through PayPal or Patreon. All the links are provided in the description. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.